happening. This could be a, just a drenching weekend, Kev. Yeah, unfortunately, your Saturday pretty much looks like it's going to be a washout. If you can hold out till Sunday, it will be a little bit better, but by then you're going to be whipped around by the very strong winds. Here's a live check on radar. You know what? This is promising for a Friday night, right? Hey, if it's going to be a washout on Saturday, you want your Friday night to be dry, and it looks like it's going to be that way for the most part. Radar is still on a clean sweep behind me. We're still hours away from seeing any showers. Now, there's a lot of rain to our south, but notice it's actually moving away at the moment, despite the fact we've got plenty of clouds around. So, yes, it's going to be on the cooler side this evening, but hey, for mid to late February, I'll take a Friday night like this that's pretty much rain free before midnight. Temperatures are in the low 40s now. We'll slowly slip down into the middle and upper 30s. It's another wild February weekend around here for us with rain throughout your Saturday. It looks like the heaviest of the rain is going to really move in here Saturday, late Saturday afternoon into Saturday evening, and then we're going to see strong winds whip in some much colder temperatures on Sunday. Now, in regards to the threat for severe weather tomorrow, I'm still not very impressed. Is it completely a zero? I'm not going to say that, but it's awfully low. The threat for any severe weather tomorrow of greater concern, to be quite honest with you. Well, first, the heavy rain tomorrow, given all the saturated grounds, poor drainage areas, low lying areas could see some water collect. I'm a little more concerned maybe about the strong gusty winds on Sunday in which we could see wind gusts get close to 50 miles an hour, and that has nothing to do with any severe weather. All right, let's talk about this storm system tonight. Here's the plume of rain that's remained to our south thus far. But as this storm center lifts up out of Texas, heads up towards Chicago, eventually the rains will return. Here's a look at future cast. We're in pretty good shape this evening. It looks like any shower threat should hold off till around midnight, and then after midnight, we'll start to see the threat for some showers around here. Still, I don't think anything terribly significant overnight. Really, it looks like the rain ramps up first thing tomorrow morning. Here's a look at lunchtime. Pretty wet the first half of your Saturday. Pretty wet off and on through Saturday afternoon, and then watch what happens as we head towards 5, 6, 7, 8 in the evening. Notice the colors get a lot brighter on here. This is the soaking rain. This is when there may be a rumble of thunder or two, and the rain comes down heavy at times mid evening tomorrow before the rain begins to taper off around midnight Saturday night. And at that point, the winds begin to ramp up colder temperatures move in and it's not out of the question on Sunday. You may see a passing flurry or two. All right, let's talk rainfall amounts. One good sign here. The rain doesn't look quite as heavy as previously thought, but I'm still thinking a solid one to two inches, a good bet across much of the area. And that's good news that the rain totals aren't quite as high because the Ohio River now is rising, expected to cross into minor flood early Sunday morning after the heavy rain Saturday night. And then it looks like it will rise to about 54 feet by early Monday and then level off and maybe begin to slowly fall. So right now, 43 degrees officially at the airport. We do have a little bit of an east breeze. Most of us are generally hovering close to 40. So here early this evening, temperatures will slip back into the upper 30s with a chance for a shower late. You're dry up through about 10 or 11 o'clock. Rain likely tomorrow. There could be a few rumbles of thunder with the rain heaviest in the evening, 57. There's your day planner. Pretty much wet weather going to impact you from start to finish tomorrow afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast. Mike and Sheree, we've been saying that 62, that's at midnight during the day on Sunday. Temperatures will be much closer to 40 and then it looks like a cold end to the month and a chillier start to the month of March. All right, Kevin, thanks for your Friday night up.